Shoulder Hooping Tips. First, start with a bigger hoop. This will help if you are new to shoulder hooping. I will be breaking down the tutorial into two parts. First, how to get into shoulder hooping, and two, how to keep it going. First, how to get into shoulder hooping. From waist hooping, find the gap in front of you. Left spinners, right hand first, right spinners, left hand first. Hand close to body going from right to left hip. This will help you get the timing down and show you how long you have to put your arms in. Think hoop on the back, gap is in front. Now try it, arm goes straight down close to your, the body. Immediately put second arm straight down close to the body. Start turning into your preferred direction to keep the hoop going. Here's another way to get into shoulder hooping. Again, finding the gap, hoop on your back equals gap in front. Arm straight down close to your body. Arm goes in, start to turn in your preferred direction. This will help give you more time for the other arm. Again, hoop on back equals gap in front. Put opposite arm in, guiding down in a diagonal line. Then continue shoulder hooping. You can also start from neck hooping. Again, finding the gap. When the hoop opens in front of you, you will raise your shoulder up. Left spinners, left shoulder first, right spinners, right shoulder first. Hoop will make contact with the arm immediately, bring your other shoulder in. Both shoulders in, check. Start to turn in your preferred direction to continue shoulder hooping. One more time from the neck. Shoulder up. Hoop hits front of arm, bring other shoulder in, turning to start the shoulder hooping. Two, how to keep it going. There will be four contact push points. Outer right arm, up front up chest above the boobs, outer left arm, upper back. Your body will be moving to hit these four points. Think front, side, back, side. Abs are tight. Notice how with each point I give a gentle push. Arms are close to your sides, keeping elbows at your hips. You can also think about making a diamond shape with those points of contact. Again, front, side, back, side. With more practice comes smaller movements with your body. Now let's add turning because it helps a lot. This will help to keep the hooping going with less effort. Left spinners pivot left, right spinners pivot right. First move your foot in the direction you want to go. Opposite foot will either match or be the guide as well. Be patient with yourself, you can also take breaks to level out the hoop after each pivot. You might think I make it look easy, but I've been doing this for a long time, so practice is key. Happy hooping! Check out the notes below for more tips.